Okay, we're going to talk about midpoint and distance. So we have our midpoint formula here. So we have x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So two points, x1, x2, and you divide it by 2. That gets the average of those two points, so that's the midpoint. And the same thing for y's. y1 plus y2, it doesn't matter which one you pick is y1 or y2, divided by 2, here's the midpoint of y. So oftentimes the ACT, you only have to do the x or the y coordinate because uh, that's all the answers will show. Now the distance formula, um, you can either memorize the distance formula or you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So if you know a squared plus b squared is c squared, um, then you can just do uh, the c squared and get a hypotenuse of a triangle. I usually do that as opposed to doing the formula, although the formula is really just the Pythagorean theorem uh, put into distance formula. I just <laughs> make sure I don't forget the distance formula. So let's look at our first one. In the standard xy coordinate plane, point M with coordinates 5, 4 is the midpoint of AB. Okay, so we have a line AB. Okay, so line. And 5, 4 right here is the midpoint. So 5, 4, so xy coordinate. And B has the coordinates of 7, 3, okay, so this is point A, this is point B, and we want to know what are the coordinates of A, so we need this point, so our midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals the midpoint of x, which is called x midpoint, so we're going to have 7 Right, 7 plus x divided by 2 equals 5. Then we just solve for x. 2 times 5 is 10, so 7 plus x equals 10. Subtract 7 from both sides, and you get x equals 3. And the only one that is x equals 3 is choice D. Their answer has to be D. What is the midpoint of the line segment with endpoints 1, 9, and 7, negative 3? So we can just know our formula. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals midpoint of x. So we have x1 is 1, x2 is 7 divided by 2 equals x. And so we're going to say 7 plus 1 is 8, and then 8 divided by 2 equals x. So x equals 4. So our answer is 4 for the x coordinate, and we only see 4 as the x coordinate in choice C, so we don't even have to do the y coordinate. So our answer is C collinear, so these are all on one line, that's all that means, with B between A and C and C between B and D. Okay, so these are just between A and D. Okay, so just showing that it is what it is. Given that AC, so AC equals 12, and BD equals 12, let's change colors. So BD also equals 12, and BC equals 3, so let's change colors again, so BC equals 3. Uh, what is AD in centimeters? Okay, so we can't, so we just want to know what is the total length from, um, let me get a good, let's do blue, from here to here, all the way across. So we know this is 12 from here, the, here to here, but we've got to take out this little part here, so it be 12 minus 3, because we already counted it right here within this 12. 12. And then we have this 12 minus the 3 we've already counted, so 12 plus 12 minus 3, or 12 plus 9, and 12 plus 9 is 21. So our answer is J. Now we've got to be careful. <laughs> have to be careful that we don't uh, accidentally count it twice or add. So 
Notice if you did 12 plus 12 plus 3, you would have gotten 27. Or if you did 12 minus 3 plus 12 minus 3, subtracted it twice, you get 18. So it's set up for lots of uh, um, tempting distractors, which your answer is J. The Ocala National Forest. forest. Uh, so we'll put their camp right here. On Saturday morning, they hiked to the wilderness area three miles due north and four miles due east east of their campsite to the elevation the elevation of the wilderness in their area the same as the campsite the nearest 0.1 mile what is the straight line distance from the wilderness area to the campsite okay so we start their campsite and we go three miles north so three miles north and then <laughs> that's a terrible line three miles north and then four miles east so three Four, and we want to know how far it is from here to here. So now if we know our Pythagorean triples, that's a three, four, five triangle. If you don't know your triples, you can do the Pythagorean theorem. Three squared plus four squared equals C squared, and you would get five. So the answer is H. Diameter of a circle, let's draw us a circle, has endpoints five, negative two, and negative three, two. So diameter is just the distance across the center of a circle. So this side is 5, negative 2. This side is negative 3, 2. And the reason this is a question 30 is because you look at it and think, oh, this is a circle question. But it's not. It's a midpoint question. So we have x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals the midpoint of x, or you could do it on the y-coordinate y1 plus y2 divided by 2 equals midpoint of y. So if we have x1 is 5, so 5 plus x coordinate 2, negative 3 divided by 2, so it's going to be 5 minus 3 is 2 divided by 2, that's 1. So the only x coordinate that has a 1 in it is choice k. Our answer is K. Plane, what is the distance between the points of coordinates 4, 3, and 2, 7? The distance. So we're going to use the distance formula, or you draw a triangle, whichever makes more sense to you. So we're going to have X2 minus X1 plus Y2 minus Y1. Take a square root of all of that. So we have 4, and we have 2 for our x coordinates. So we have 4 minus 2. Oh, yeah, these are squared. I forgot that. 4 minus 2 squared plus 3 and 7. 3 minus 7 squared, and that's going to be 2 squared which is 4, and negative 4 squared, which is 16, so it's positive. Any number squared is a positive. So 16 plus 4 is 20. We take the square root of that, and we have our answer is D. You could have also drawn a triangle and just plotted these points. So if you plotted the points and you have 1, at 4, 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4, 3, and that would have been uh, here. The other one at 2, 7, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. You, know, you have it up here. You draw a right triangle. And use Pythagorean theorem. You have this side is 4. And so, you know, this you get a count and put them together. Um, that way may take a little bit longer than just knowing the distance vertical lines is up and down. Remember, horizontal would be this way. So we're drawing our line vertical. Cut trapezoid A, B, C, D into two equal areas. Okay, so we want to draw a line this way to cut this trapezoid vertically. So you kind of guesstimate where it's going to be. 
and you know you're probably you're definitely not going to get 2.5 you're not going to get 3.5 um so you're going to get one of these others probably d or e but to do it you just got to find the coordinate that will be at the top line so we can use our x coordinates because we're going to say where is this point and this point and those points are on the x axis right so we're going to do three and nine our midpoint formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 okay, equals the midpoint. So we have 9 plus 3 divided by 2, and we get 12 divided by 2, and that equals 6. So the midpoint of the top line is 6. And then we do the bottom line, 12 plus 2. So we have, let's do this one in a different color. We have 12 plus 2 divided by 2, so 14 divided by 2 is 7. So the bottom line is 7. So which one's going to cut that in half? Well, we have to take the average of these two to say it has to be between those two. So 7 plus 6 is 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. So your answer is E. But if we know our midpoint formula, it's not. In the standard XY coordinate plane, 12, 3 is halfway between. The midpoint is between points 2A and A plus 3, and 4A and A minus 5. This becomes hard just because we're putting algebra into it, and, and so you get to kind of figure it out. But it's still our midpoint formula. X1 plus X2 divided by 2 equals X midpoint. So we're going to go 2a with our x1, so 2a plus 4a divided by 2 equals 12, the midpoint of that, okay? So we're going to just do algebra on top for a. So 2 times 12, we're going to multiply the 2 out. So we have 2a plus 4a equals 24. Now we have 6a equals 24. Divide by 6, we get a equals 4. And there's our answer. Okay.